Hi there, I'm Joe Karlovich, and today I want to go over the Voyager app. That's the reason that I've gotten back into crypto and I want to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to their website first and just go over some of the items on their website. So this is Voyager's website, investvoyager.com. This is their homepage. It says that earn up to 9.5% APR interest on 50 plus digital assets. It's commission free, crypto made simple. And that's really why, guys, why I'm in it. The crypto is made simple. You can earn up to 9.5% interest APR, uh, and it's commission free. It's, it makes it really easy to get into. So let's kind of go over review the app. Again, yeah, let's see information there. So you have access to the largest crypto market. And they do that because they are a broker. They're not an exchange. And so they kind of set up all the different parts of to the different exchanges and you just log in through the app and you get the best prices that. Um, more crypto commission free so you, you don't have to worry about them taking your money. The pricing is improved because of the different exchanges that they use. some charts there. If you're into day trading, you can kind of use that. Grow a crypto portfolio. This is kind of what I want to do. This is what I'm doing. Growing my crypto portfolio so I can manage my crypto assets. And this is the important part. Without opening multiple exchange accounts. Right? So who, <laughs> who's here has opened multiple exchange accounts? I have. I'm on Coinbase, Binance. I mean, there's probably three or four other exchanges that I've opened up accounts on, but I don't use those anymore. I just use Voyager. So let's go back to uh, just go over the broker model they have here. So they have something they call smart order routing. So they connect to a bunch of these exchanges and here you are on the end using the app connecting to all these exchanges and all you're doing is submitting your order and Voyager goes out and completes the deal um, on one of these exchanges or multiple exchanges. I don't know how they <laughs> they can do it on however they want uh, to give us the best price. So you don't have to worry about, you know, arbitrage in the market uh, or different prices on different markets. Voyager takes care of that for you, which is nice. Uh, buy, trade, sell US dollar, and we'll go through this today. Voyager makes it easy to open an account and start trading with US dollar. We support bank transfers up to 5,000, and that you begin trading deposit funds instantly. And when they say trade deposit funds instantly, they, they do. They let you use the money immediately, and we'll, I'll show you that today. We also, also deposit and withdrawals on some other tokens. Um, so if you have other tokens on other networks or exchanges, you can you can <clears throat> deposit them directly to Voyager and download the app and start trading. All right, so I've already got it downloaded. I've already got an account. So let's uh, let's take a look. There we are. Okay. So there's the Voyager app. I'm gonna open it up. They've got some Touch ID security for me. And this is the app. So up here, this will take you over to your account. This will help you search for the assets if you want to click up there. Here they have the top news. So if you click on that, Bitcoin trajectory, it'll take you right to a news article, which is awesome if you're into crypto and you're looking for news. Of course, my, my phone won't load the article because using the Wi-Fi and it sucks. <laughs> but um, this is your main page. So and you can see they have one hour price changes you can do one day, week, month, and year. And list all the assets here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it and show you guys how you can get your money in easily and then 
perform a trade instantly. So we're going to go up here. You can see it sets up my accounts. So usually if you haven't set up a bank account, you would set up your bank account first. And I've already got one set up. Uh, adding one is, is rather simple. You come in here and it's going to tell you to use this plate. And then it's going to ask you to select your bank account. And from there you're going to enter your credentials and it'll hook you up to where it'll list your accounts and you can put the one you want. I already got mine set up. As you can see, my investing crypto one. So let's go back. There's a below that, there's transfer cash or crypto. So we're gonna click on that. That's gonna load the transfer assets page. You're gonna to deposit to the Voyager account. We're gonna select the US dollar. As you can see, you've got different options here. You can deposit different types of <coughs> cryptocurrency if you wish. Uh, so we're going to select the US dollar. Um, so now you choose your bank account. I've got mine it's kind of set up here to Voyager. I'm going to put $400 because that's what I've got. I'm going to slide to deposit. Oh. That is not what I want. It's too much. There we go. So, <laughs> if you make a mistake, <laughs> you can go back and press cancel. Like I did, I put too many zeros in there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and confirm. And now, your deposit for $400 has been submitted and will be reflected now. So now if we go to trade, so, US dollar, I'm gonna click there. My US dollar account should show penny deposits $400. So, so I've got $400 there. So now let's go ahead and make a trade. Now they've made it so that now I can go make trades wherever I want. So these are, you know, my main buyers Bitcoin, Ethereum. So let's just go into Bitcoin. So if I want to make a trade, I just click on the the buy Bitcoin. Oh, we lost we lost the screen here. There we go. So we're gonna do buy BTC. I'm gonna put in the amount I want to buy. Alright, slide to buy, and to that, I'll just buy Bitcoin. <laughs> so the app isn't slow, guys. This is the, the technology, the screen mirror, I'm using that, it's slow. Um, so let's go ahead and buy some Ethereum. So we're going to go to Ethereum, and we're going to do buy ETH. We're going to put in the amount we want, and you can buy either a market buy, or a limit if you want. You can do limit, limit buys as well. You can enter in the price you want to buy at and the dollar amount. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do market buy. So I'm going to be put in my the amount of money I want to spend. Slide to buy. And that's it. I've got my Ethereum. So now, um, we're gonna go ahead and trade out of USDC. We're gonna sell some USDC real quick. So we're gonna go here and sell. I'm just gonna sell 100 bucks. So they have fee-less uh, USDC transfers. So usually it costs like 10 cents on USDC to get your money out. It doesn't cost you anything on Voyager. So you can slide, submit. So I've submitted a sell. Now I've got a oh, hundred more dollars to invest, and I want to even out, you know, roughly my Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'm going to go back to Ethereum. 
do more by ETH. And put in my hundred dollars. Slide to buy. And there you go. So that's that's basically it, guys. I mean, you click on the one you want to buy, and you you buy it, and it's pretty much instant. Um, so this is my portfolio. You can kind of kind of give you a background, a breakdown of how much I've made and lost. So I mean, that number looks disturbing, but it's mostly from <laughs> I bought VGX at 17 cents. Uh, it's down to 12 right now. So I'm not too worried about it. I believe in VGX. I believe in Voyager. So uh, I believe it'll come back. But it kind of gives you a lot of information here on the portfolio screen: with percentage change and allocation, day change monthly average balance and then interest that has been paid out which is which is nice um, you can go to view orders and this is a history so everything that you do is, is here's a history and kind of gives you goes over a rundown of you know all of the different orders that I've had over the, over the time I've been here which is nice and also transfers so the kind of give you a history of the transfers that you've done. So today I have, this is part of my auto. The $200 is an auto one that I do, and then I have the 400 that we just put in. So, that's the main way to use the app, guys. And that's how you get your money into crypto really easy. Um, I've got a recurring buy set up. Uh, you can, I set up in USDC. Just because I don't want it to go on into any of the cryptocurrencies <laughs> that are more volatile. So you can set it up for different assets. I've got mine for USDC. You can set the frequency to, to a couple different frequencies. And I've got mine set up for paydays. And you select the account it comes out of and it will execute those on those days and you don't have to worry about your money getting into crypto so uh, the app has got a couple other things I guess to look at um, more from a settings point of view down here we have the refer a friend so you can come here uh, share this code with somebody and you'll earn $25 in Bitcoin and they will earn $25 in Bitcoin so if you are friendless or you don't have anybody else that has Voyager app and you would like to earn $25 in Bitcoin, feel free to put my code in when you start the Voyager app and you will get $25 in free Bitcoin. And then from there, I'm assuming if you have other friends, you will give them your code, <laughs> but you can give them my code as well if you like. Um, but that's that's how it works. It'll take a few days for it to, to transfer and you got to do... I think you have to do $100 worth of trading. So, if you're going to trade, you want $25 free Bitcoin, um, you can use that code. And this is the crypto interest again. It goes into a little bit of how it works. So you can opt out of it if you want to because uh, I guess there's some risk involved and if you don't want that risk, you can opt out. Or if you don't want, um, I don't know, to get taxed on the interest. It's not a lot of money, guys. Depending on, I guess, depends on how much you're putting in. But <laughs> it's more than the banks give you. It shouldn't be something that you should be worried about. Uh, they have node blog and help here. So if you want to, you know, contact support, you can do that. They have FAQs you can read, which I'm not going to go into. Uh, but that's that's it in a nutshell. That is the void draft. So they've got over 50 coins, guys. I'm going to try to go over some of them, or most of them, with you, and give you some analysis on them in future videos. Uh, I've got one on Bitcoin and Voyager ready to go. If you like Voyager and you like the app. And you like this video let me know and I'm sure to produce more information and, and more videos regarding Voyager and cryptocurrency so it's, it's 
it's exciting stuff, exciting times, and Voyager is making it really easy to get your money into crypto and trade. Alright, if you like this video, um, I guess there's subscribe on most, most of these channels that I'll be on. So go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.